We're going head to head, folks. We're back to the challenge. This is a beauty challenge. You know, charcoal face mask, mascara. We know, I know what's up. Do you? Yeah, there's something called balayage, too. Don't I have no idea. It. New beauty trend. You know what? There's something that everybody's talking about, but do you really want to know what to look for when you're shopping for your products? Do you know that information? <laughs> I certainly do not, but <laughs> Rachel Gower does. She's with the Upper Hand Salon, and she's here to put us to the beauty test. Well, I am going to put you to a test and I've picked some like random questions for you because there's so many questions that it was hard to narrow them down. This is a so, terrible idea. I love it. I'm, I love terrible trivia. Idea. Everyone who knows me knows I love trivia, so this is so much fun. I love it. Let's do it. I'm just going to stand here and be a know-it-all while I, I ask you I love that you are our, our game show host, and I see oh, that sparkling look in Courtney's eyes. I literally have glitter on me right now. Okay, question number one. Get ready to ring. Okay, number one. It is normal to shed hair on a daily basis. A normal amount of shedding is... A, 20 to 40 strands. B, 50 to 150 strands. Courtney, did you just ring in? I did. I'm going to go B. That is correct. Yeah, I would have said B too, because I heard one, like average of 80 hairs a day. Yeah, lose. so 50 to 150. So if you feel like you're shedding more than that, then you might want to check in with your doctor because they'll do blood tests, make sure your thyroid's working. But, but the first thing you really want to do is look at your diet. So make sure that you're getting protein and add biotin into your diet um, via supplements, add essential fatty acids. Those are all things that everyone can do. But if you're concerned about it and it's excessive and it's been going on, go ahead and go to your doctor. Hey, can I ask you a quick question, like a 10 second answer? Yeah. So for men who are losing their hair, you even ask me that. they often feel like you know, when they're washing it, that they should be very careful and maybe not wash their hair. You want to do the opposite, right? No, right. That doesn't make any difference. You it can't doesn't... be gentle and keep the hair from shedding. It goes through a three-stage cycle. So that's, that's... So still wash your hair, scrub Absolutely. it with soap. And I feel like I lose way more than that, but I feel like... Well, you have way more than most people. I have a lot of hair. The reason, Courtney, is because you have a lot of hair and it's really long. Okay. So when you have long hair, because I've been through that too, and when I had shorter hair, I'm like, I'm not losing as much hair. Well, it's because the strands are shorter. Right. My so, husband thinks I should be bald by the okay. amount of hair that's so, in our number house. number two, and Derek's <laughs> kind of cheating here a little bit. To maintain a healthy scalp, it is important to wash your hair every day. True or false? Derek? Oh, I, well, I would say true. False. Courtney's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now listen, there's a caveat to that. For Derek, it's okay to wash your hair every day because his hair is short, it's not color treated. This is a confusing healthy. question. It's a con right. But Trivia is confusing. People, it can't be, and there's always a, a gray. Trick question. So for Courtney, for sure, don't wash it every day. For Derek, anyone with short hair, a woman with a pixie, it's absolutely fine to do that because your hair is short. It's all alive from back here out to here. Your hair is all dead. So is mine. <laughs> oh, wah, wah. I know. It's really <laughs> no, depressing, no, right? No, but so, so the answer. You're dead. The good news <laughs> is, Courtney, you won the answer, but your but hair you is know, dead. Your hair is dead. Okay. <laughs> Right, so you have dry shampoo, right? Yes. So it's important to have a dry shampoo that really gets your hair clean, makes you smell good and everything. Right. And then also one that kind of gives you texture and volume. So these are my favorite right here. Okay. You can spend $5, you can spend $50, but they're all good. Okay. Why, why would you spend 50 if you can spend five? Well, this one's special. Yeah, that one Just, smells really good. Yeah. Uh, okay, ready? So, uh, Derek? What? Try to ring in. Okay. I mean, <laughs> all right. Derek, okay. try to do better. Derek, Thanks, you got this one. Rachel. Okay. What is the most important skincare product used? Wait, she rang in that? first. D. It's sunscreen. D. She rang. I rang in first. It's three Derek. nothing. It, yeah. She's doing her happy dance too. Just rubbing it in. Okay. That's so great. Sunscreen. Your hair is still dead. <laughs> right. Sunscreen. So here's the trick with sunscreen. I want to show everyone. The, the problem that, that there is with sunscreen is that people don't know that they have to apply a lot of sunscreen for it to be working the, the way that it's been rated. So see this nickel right here? Yes. That's how much needs to go on your face. The Just size face. of a nickel? Yeah, it's a dollop. So it doesn't need to be super thick, but it's, you know, the circumference oh, wow. of the dollop needs to be a nickel. Is it okay if it's in the moisturizer or we need a separate sunscreen? Ooh, good question. Okay, very good question. If it's in a moisturizer and it's at least an SPF 15 and you're putting a nickel-sized dollop, 
it, it's fine. If it's in your foundation, I don't know anyone who puts a nickel-sized dollop of foundation on. Oh, I do. Okay, well. I do. That's a different story. So base it on the, that's, yes. what you're using. So I, okay. it, it needs to be 15. Okay. okay. All right. So Courtney pretty much is, is sweeping this. So. Okay, Derek, you've got this one. What does a humectant do? It adds moisture to your hair. Do you want to hear the... You want to hear the answers that you're supposed moisture, to pick? A, moisture, B, retain moisture, C, hydrate, D, all of the All above. of the above. That's correct! Yes, Derek! You got I let him have that one. <laughs> Good for you. Listen, I didn't even have to look at the correct. choices. I knew okay, right away. We're going to move on. Okay, okay, what key ingredient should one look for in a skincare product to treat acne? I ring oh. it first. Okay, Derek. Salicylic acid. Okay. That is not incorrect. But the answer I was looking for is benzoyl, benzoyl peroxide. peroxide. But it bleaches your linens and your well, clothing. Well, that is true. That is true. Like you get white spots on your Listen, sheets. Listen, there's one good skin or bad sheets? I have so many destroyed sheets because of sheets. this. Okay, so here's the deal. You need both of them for this purpose, it was benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is the only preventative method, really. The only to preventative clear, method. To oh, clear, to clean it. It, it. it keeps it from happening because it kills the bacteria that's believed to cause acne on the skin. But salicylic I mean, acid If you treats already it. have it, you use salicylic to treat it. Okay. So a little bit of a tricky question. All right. Yeah, it was tricky. What's the score? Uh, um, it's four to zero, four to one. He has one. Four to one. Uh, okay, this is a fun <laughs> one. So rude. Um, the United States has the highest percentage of people with this color hair. Blonde, black, red, or brown. Oh, Courtney. Blonde? Highest percentage. Highest percentage. So like if I were to go, like of all the countries in the world, we have the highest percentage. Uh, I'm going to say blonde. That is incorrect. Oh, oh okay. okay. So Derek, would you like to ring in? I'm going to say... Red. It's red. Red. It's red. Okay. Sorry, right. Courtney. I think that we're, you know what? I think Courtney wins, and she's the proud <laughs> recipient of the golden goodie bag. That is so cool. Look what she won. Yes, look at me. I need some good game job. show music. I love gold. it. First prize for Courtney. I, and Derek, you did a really good no, job. No, go and see it's, your winnings. It's like the price like is, is right. I know. I know. The confetti. I love confetti. it. So look at these fabulous golden hair brushes. Oh, my this gosh. This is your sleepy mask. I was kind of hoping Derek would win this because I wanted to see what I it looked like. I love it. And She'll let me borrow it. I'm going to be so beautiful when I'm going to be so I'm I want to try this out. Rachel, thank you so thank much. You so much. So more beauty tips. So much fun. You can check out the Upper Hand Salon online at upperhand.com. Uh, yes, you're letting me borrow this, right? For one second. <laughs> Rachel, you're the Tons best.